Good morning, Connections. Glad you're here. We are on the road to Emmaus as part of our look at the stories that come after Jesus' resurrection, but before his ascension. And yesterday, we were following along with a couple of travelers that were disciples of Jesus, not one of or two of the twelve, but were close to the group of twelve, perhaps traveling with Jesus on occasion, but not dedicated to the, the inner circle of the twelve. So they have direct knowledge of the things that are going on. But the the fault in in what they have received thus far is that it's already been turned into kind of common day-to-day. -day. They're referencing the miraculous things that Jesus accomplished on the cross and in past tense. As you know, we talked yesterday, you, know, you should have been here yesterday. You should have seen what, what happened and oh, the community's a buzz. God expects more. God expects when he sends his son to die for us on the cross that all eyes should be opened, especially those that were closest to Jesus. But here we are, one step removed, and the full impact of what has been accomplished is already being threatened. It's already going to be lost. So let's pick up the story as Jesus joins the two travelers and see what happens. Luke 24, beginning in 25. Then Jesus said to them, you foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus and the end of their journey. Jesus acted as if he were going on. But they begged him, stay the night with us since it's getting late. So he went home with them. As they sat down to eat, he took the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us. That's what God wants for us. We have been blessed with God's word. And instead of hearing God's word second hand from the neighbor next door or from a pastor on Sunday morning, God wants to have a direct encounter with you through his word. But you can only experience that if you're willing to open your Bible. Once you open your Bible and you ask the Holy Spirit to join you in illuminating the word, you can experience the very same things that finally these travelers were able to grasp hold of which is there's so much more to the story. This is a story that has been being written from the very beginning. Through Moses, the prophets, into the New Testament, through the Gospels, on into the, the epistles of Paul and the revelation of John. This is a miraculous story. This isn't something that happened yesterday and has no relevance in today. This is something that's ongoing. Something that we are called 
to participate in? Why are we still sitting on the sidelines? Why are we not engaging more? Why aren't we not more passionate about the mission that God has set us upon? Let's get going. And all it takes is for you to be willing to find God in his word. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of stories passed from one person to another, mixed in with all the other things that we've heard and the power that is intended is drained and it no longer has relevance. Join me today in putting the power back in God's word. Open your Bible and seek him and, and find that passion that you once had. Time is short, and the story is coming to an end. Let's make certain that all who can be drawn to God have the same opportunity that you and I have had. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Forgive us, Lord, for treating it in such an unworthy way. Forgive us, Lord, for never seeking out the encounter on our own journey. Lord, we need more. We desire more. We just haven't looked in the right places. It's been with us all along, Lord, and today you have opened our eyes. I pray that more would find you in your word, that would have a direct encounter with you today, and it would all come online. Do not allow us to travel through this world and never get it. We pray, Lord, for our eyes to be open and the eyes of all those that we can reach. For your glory and honor, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, onwards and upwards. Open your word today. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Till then, know that I love you and I miss you. And please, be good. <laughs>